Hello, Paul Robinson from bushcraftcanada.com. Okay, got a really nice axe to show you today. And uh, these have come in, they've taken quite a while to come in, they're only made in small batches and uh, there's a, a, quite long lead times. And also I'm filming this at the sort of the height, what well, I hope's the height of the coronavirus problems here in Canada. Hopefully there's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel soon, but you know, there's all kinds of delays going on in customs. And uh, like I say, so we're very glad finally to uh, to get this delivery in. Beautiful axes, actually, these are. All made in uh, in Maine, in the USA, actually South Portland. Just thought I'd show you it with the um, head cover on, actually. So this is the Dorigo, made by uh, Branton Cochran. And they're a great company, actually, really, uh, you know, enthusiastic about making quality tools and reproducing some of the axes that were made in, in Maine, you know, to the... Um, you know the same designs, traditional designs, and 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 the high quality, and that's you know it's really great actually that companies are, are doing that. So you can see a very nice leather head cover here, stitched and riveted. And um, the axe itself, this is a um, a great all-purpose axe. I'll just show you. This is uh, based on that famous uh, main wedge shape, and um, you know the beauty of that is it gives you a very fine edge, but also I can see the um, profile there. Uh, I'll show you that way too. You can see that this not only is uh, got a very nice edge on it for a good cutting axe, it'll also split. So you know it has that nice, nice wedge profile, which means it's it's a really good all-round axe, good cutter, good splitter, beautifully balanced. And you can see the fit and finish on this axe, very very high indeed. There's the company logo stamped into the head there, and uh, you can actually see I believe the forger's mark initial stamped into. Very nice axe, like I said. 17 inches overall length. This is an Amish made hickory handle. Again, beautifully done, actually. Um, still, they're using as a USA sourced 1050 high carbon steel. Very, very tough steel. Great choice of steel for this kind of application. And, um, you know, the, like I say, you know, the axes are made in small numbers. There's a lot of handwork goes into them. So then they're not a cheap axe but they're very very good and if you're looking for a traditionally made very high quality axe this is definitely definitely worth a look beautifully balanced in the hand and like i say this would make a great camp axe um you know because of its abilities to cut and to split very very nice indeed we have a uh, they're probably better known for their cruiser axe actually and we will be getting some of those in um in the near future but this is like i say the dorigo the camp axe and if you're looking for a very high end like I say, traditionally made axe, very high quality. These are definitely worth a look. Um, beautifully balanced, beautifully made, great steel, uh, and a great size. You know, very packable, very portable, and of course, you know, having that um, ability to cut and split um, makes it a very versatile tool as well. So we're very pleased to finally see these in, and uh, you can see them on our website, bushcraftcanada.com. You can see them under Brandt, uh, Brandt and Cochran. And uh, as always, you know, if you don't see the information you need uh, or hear the information you need in our videos, you can just always give me an email, paul at bushcraftcanada.com.